Hello officers, Scorpio, and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I'm your host to the universe, Christopher Watecki. I guess that little dance is because I'm feeling proud in front of the Scorpios. The universe tried to take me down, but I bounced right back up. I apologize for the last 30 days. I was in the hospital, had a little issue, but for those who prayed, who sent energy, who sent gifts, thank you so much. It was so nice to receive from the people I give to, which believe it or not, never crossed my mind. <laughs> so uh, it was a little bit of a lesson there that I learned. And uh, too bad I couldn't be there for you, but I'll be there for you now. It's been an intense time, Scorpios. I know. I've been thinking about you the whole time, too. Uh, the sun in Gemini, which has been really the whole last 30 days, the whole time I've been in recovery and whatnot. The sun in Gemini for you is about what you do best or maybe not trust, intimacy, boundary issues. A heavy topic for Scorpios, but one that makes sense. I have the Act 3 videos coming out here soon. I'm going to get very deep on this with the Scorpio story, but by the end of this year, remember Saturn comes out of your 12th house and boom, it is time to reconstruct your ego. The universe is going to give you a head start on cutting the wrong people off and drawing the right boundaries before you announce the new Scorpio 2.0 revolution that will be beginning. So this transit that we just lived in the last 30 days is super important. In fact, Jupiter has moved into this space, so Scorpios will continue to grow incredibly fast when it comes to who they trust and who they don't, which is everything to a Scorpio, right? This is what you rule, okay? So your lines of where you draw your lines, what goes into your line drawing, we're talking about removing childhood habits, we're talking about uh, opening up to things we haven't been open to, all of that work uh, really just began. So as I come back on the air on Wednesday, just want to get this the first time I could, uh, we're at 29 degrees with the sun in Gemini, which is the tested degree. So whatever work you did in the last 30 days, you might be tested on Wednesday. Don't fall back. That's the whole point. Don't slip back. Don't go back to the old boundaries. Don't sleep with him again. Don't sleep with her again. Don't. If you feel what you know you have to do, do it. Put it into action. Put that passion moving forward. Like I said, you've got a full year of learning trust, intimacy, and boundaries. This was just the kickoff, so don't get hung up on stuff if you have learned. It's only going to make it harder for you, for yourself, really. You know, you know, you know I help my Scorpios. So on Wednesday, feeling pretty passionate, feeling pulled back. The moon in Cancer makes you also sensitive, also vulnerable, so that isn't fun at all. Then we go to Thursday. Now Thursday we're at zero degrees. The sun is zero degrees cancer. We are shifting into a new state of awareness. Zero means zero. It is the boundary, if you will, between two states of awareness. And for you, it means you are shifting out of trust, intimacy, boundaries, and into a much lighter topic, your belief structure and life purpose. All right. Now this is a much more fun area of life, and there's not a lot of planets or karma in this part of your life, but for a Scorpio to reason with being uh, really masters of death, which is what you are, you guys are very emotional about your beliefs. I know I've gotten into arguments with you. You become cancers in an argument. Crabby, very emotional. I'm sorry. Well, I got about a thousand Scorpios out there right now. They're like, you deserve it. Anyways, the point is, is you move into not just your meaning and purpose, but a lot of the philosophy behind your feelings. Okay. And this is when you allow yourself to feel or not feel. So in this next 30 days, it's a much lighter transit to what we have gone through. But it's a very important transit because the way you manage your feelings is literally setting limits on how far you're going to go when the boyfriend screws up or when you screw up. How far will your emotional tides go? It all ties down to what your beliefs are and what's really meaningful in life. If it ain't meaningful, don't let your emotional field get charged with it is what I'm going to be saying over and over and over. So on Thursday, uh, it's an interesting day. We're in no man's land, but the moon does move over into Leo during the course of the day. And that means emotions shift to career. So you might be feeling very emotional or having high tides, so to speak, with career issues. Very common for the earth to seduce you in that regard. Now on Friday, Friday things get really pretty groovy. The sun will click into one degree, so you're starting to feel the whole learning thing. Really the first question on Friday to you is, do your beliefs, does your life purpose include self-love? 
Do you love yourself and your life purpose? Your first purpose should be self-love. At least that's the way God designed it in reality. Self-love is the first purpose and first intention we do on earth. Are you operating under that structure? That's really the question that happens with the moon in Leo. And you may be experiencing that you're not getting that love at work, but I'll be reminding you, it's not about work. It's just a reflection of all of you. If you don't love yourself, don't expect anything you manifest in the world to love you either. Does your belief structure support that question? That's the question on Friday. On Saturday, thank goddess, Venus is direct. That means you can finally begin receiving again. Now, Venus was retrograde the entire time I was in the hospital. Moving direct means that it shifts in energy. In the last, uh, t in the last month, literally over a month, it has been about finding the pathway within yourself, finding where you, digging into yourself where you have the trust issue, giving, digging into yourself where you have the resistance to opening up, digging into yourself into the scar tissue of maybe why you can't surrender. Now that Venus goes direct, Scorpios can begin to uh, see the reflection of their work that they've done in the last month or, uh, or so. So if you ignored it, if you drank it away or something like that, won't probably feel much going on with Venus direct. If you did the work, you'll begin to see immediately that people around you either see or don't see these needs and being able to see whether people see or don't see these needs begins to auto-define trust and intimacy. Okay, they don't see this at all. Boundary, <laughs> sorry, you're cut off. It's gonna be good. So on Saturday, you start to feel that. Now you are feeling everything on Saturday, so it might be some emotional tides. The moon rules the day, Venus goes direct, um, and the moon is in Leo. So you might be, again, processing about work or processing about certain decisions you have to do, but really it's about emotions and again, the philosophy and theories behind your emotional purpose. On Sunday, actually the jolliest day in this little personal report, Jupiter rules the day on Sunday. I think emotions will begin to perk up. Your emotions will be focused on, tru I mean, focused on your career and your legacy and uh, your children, because children are legacy, by the way. So your emotions are out there and that's what they're focused on. But really it's about opening up and taking a good look at what your philosophies are in life. Do you have beliefs that lead that life is going to be happy? You want a happy life, you want to be able to trust, but do you believe that's even possible? Is it in your belief structure? That's the kind of questions you want to ask. On Monday, Uranus will rule the day, so there's going to be breakdown on Monday wherever you have false beliefs, pocket holes, or uh, false reasoning for what you aim your life into. So things will hit the fan on Monday. The more you can explore what's working and not working on Sunday, the better, Scorpio. All right, that's all I have to kick off my reappearance. As you know, we're outside now. I think being cooped up in a hospital taught me something. Forget studios, man. Forgive that. But I will see you hopefully on Monday. And if not, well, I'll be back. I just pop up every time I get knocked down. Until then, live, love, be.